these efforts, it's good, but it's a and long effort, but it's not going to I've decided they're not going to stop, and there's no return on this. But day after day, we're facing, I mean, it, it was killing, it was sniper, now in tanks, and now even slaughtering families, killing the entire families with the kids, with the families, after raping women in front of their husbands and the front of their kids. He's trying to drag the country to a civil war and not intervening now by the international community. It's going to lead to a civil war. If the international community trying to make the argument in the wrong, opposite way, saying, if we intervene now, we're going to lead the country to a civil war. Not intervening now, in fact, will end up with civil war in the country. No fly zone is very important and safe zone where the civilians can flee or take in refuge and it's, it's very important. It's going to encourage defections in the Syrian government because everybody so far acting like there's no accountability at the end and they have to feel the heat at some point so they would, would start count what's, what's happening. Tremendous soft power immediately. Uh, the regime will not last, but there will be a lot of casualties and a lot of suffering, and it will be very hard to put Syria back together uh, if it is not resolved very quickly. I, I think I understand perfectly the logic and the consequence of things as outlined by, uh, by the. It's a disaster that it lasted for as long as it has. Uh, there is no question that it's been an international decision essentially uh, made by the Russians and the Chinese who prevented any kind of a deal in the Security Council in order to force some kind of a diplomatic way out. And uh, in the meantime, it was, of course, it's creating hard feelings across the Arab world and the Muslim world and the Sunni world in particular uh, against uh, both Iran and with sectarian implications. It would be right at the outset of the Islamic leadership, uh, starting with Khomeini, have declared their animosity for Israel. 